Okay, the circle passes through that point. It's not a centre. The circle actually goes through it. And it's such that x is minus 7, x equals 13 are tangents. So that's how this looks like. That is minus 7. That is the line x equals minus 7. And that's 13. And so that's the equation of that line is x equals minus. So x equals 13. Point 9, negative 1 is here. 9 minus 1. And it goes through there. So it could be this one here. Oh, it's going to just touch there. Like so. Or it could be sort of reflected down. Those are the two circles. And it must have the midpoint. must be there. And we know that the diameter of the circle pretty obviously it goes from minus 7 to 13. The diameter is 20 and therefore the radius equals 10. So it gives me part of it. And we actually know more about it because that's the midpoint and so that must be 3. So halfway between uh, minus 7 and 13. And so the coordinates of this point here must be 3 and I'll call it 3b. So I could have that being a, but I actually know what that is. And I know, I'll do it in green, that this length of that triangle there, that must also be 10. So I can use Pythagoras to try and work out what that is. So we know that um, square root of what's uh, this bit here, it was b up there, and it goes down to minus 1, so that would be b plus 1. So b plus 1 squared plus the distance going across and that's gone from uh, 3 to 9 that's 6 plus 6 squared and that equals 10. Uh, so square both sides b plus 1 squared plus 6 squared equals 100 and that means b squared plus 2b plus 1 times 1 is 1 plus 6 squared is 36 equals 100. And that gives me b squared plus 2b plus 37. Take away 100 is minus 63. That equals 0. That looks like it's going to factorize. So b and b. And it gets 63. No, it looks like nine, 7 and 9. 7 and 9. We want positive 2b. It's negative here. So one's going to be positive, one's going to be negative. The bigger one's going to be positive, like so. And so we only get something times something is 0. So either the first one is 0 or the second one is 0. And so therefore b equals 7 or b equals negative 9. And now we can work out what it is. I suppose b equals 7, then that means that the centre will be 3, 7. So I'll have it with x minus 3 squared plus y minus 7 squared equals the radius squared, 10 squared. Or the other one, where b was minus 9, so that would be the one down here, 3, negative 9. That's the red one. The red one I would get x minus 3 squared plus y, and it's going to be y plus 9 squared, and that's going to equal, again, it's going to equal 10 squared, which is 100. Multiply these things out, that gives me x squared minus 6x plus 9 plus y squared minus 14y plus 49 equals 100. And so x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 14y. And then we've got 9 and 49. And then take away 100 is minus 42. That equals 0. Or for the red circle, we're going to have x squared minus 6x plus 9 plus y squared plus 18y plus 81 equals 100. 
And so x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 18y and the, nine, the nine, 90, take away 100, is minus 10. That equals 0. So again, picture decidedly helpful to work out what's going on here. And uh, that's done.